The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Good morning, everyone. So let's start off the day with our picture of the day. This one from Jonathan in Radford. Cool to see all the Christmas decorations already out and lit. We do have some rain, so it's kind of hard to spot a lot of those Christmas decorations, but at least that's going to be kind of light for today. The blobs that we have are smaller than the ones that we did yesterday, so that's at least a good sign. Now there is a little bit more moisture that's making its way up into Iowa and into Chicago. That system does have the cold front that's actually going to dry us out. It takes a while to get to us though, so expect the these kind of gray drizzly conditions to last through the weekend. Our temperatures are in the 40s right now. We lost some heat overnight, but we're still able to hold on to some of our heat from yesterday. Hillsville 43, Hot Springs 37, Smith on Lake 46. Not able to warm up much more than this, so expect highs to be four or five degrees warmer than where we're at. And then for Saturday, it's going to be pretty similar to today. I think even cooler in some spots. And at 42, Highland at 43, and we get to the mid 40s in Roanoke, Clinchburg, and in Southside. On, on Sunday, to take you zone by zone, it is a little bit warmer, not by a huge margin, but got a little bit of warm air coming in before the actual cold front moves through. So that takes the NRV to the mid 40s. Same thing in the Highlands and then around 50 for Roanoke, Lynchburg and for Southside. Our temperatures aren't too far from average pretty much any time through the next week. Wednesday, we're a little bit on the cool side. We do have a cold front headed our direction, so get a little bit of cold air, some cloud cover that prevents us from heating up. But on Thursday, one of the rainier days that we've got this week, we're actually able to warm up some, so it's going to feel like a pretty standard December. It's not going to plummet down towards the teens or 20s or anything. You can still get outside if you need to. Over the next six to 10 days, so beyond that range that we were just looking at, it still looks like we're going to be pretty close to average. Meanwhile, especially in the Northwest, we're looking at a lot of cold air on the western side of the country. That's been kind of the trend for the last month or so, cold to the west, warmer towards the east. But as the month goes along, we can see that cold air migrate further towards the east, especially once we get towards January and February. Precipitation-wise, it is looking slightly above average, but with the warmer conditions, I think most of that's going to stay as rain for us. But if you are traveling towards the Dakotas or Minneapolis, we're going to have a little bit of wet weather. Good news to go with the cold in the northwest is that it's at least dry up there, so not too much snow towards Seattle, and they're going to get a little bit more rain than average towards LA. Today, our temperatures are going to be pretty close to that 45 mark. Blacksburg 43, Roanoke 46, Danville 48, and then overnight we're losing more heat, keeping that trend we've had the past few days. Hillsville 38, Lexington at 40. Not too cold overnight, certainly not looking at frost in a lot of spots. And then on the extended forecast, temperatures are going to be in the mid 40s to around 50 pretty consistently. Like I was saying, Wednesday is probably one of the coolest days ahead and even there we're able to warm up after it. I think Thursday, even despite the cold front, our temperatures are able to bounce back a little bit. That'll keep us close to average to the end of the week. I think we're a little bit drier after Thursday as well.